Hi everybody, my name is Ian Lamont. I am the founder of In 30 Minutes Guides. Today I'm going to be talking about how to add a watermark to a PDF using Adobe Acrobat. And this, what I'm going to show you, it's the same in uh, Windows or Mac. Um, Adobe Acrobat basically looks and behaves the same way in both operating systems. So here's the situation. I have this file here. Uh, I'm going to be giving it out to reviewers and I want to add a watermark to it. First thing I always do is I don't work from the original one. And that's in case I make some mistake or screw up the PDF. So what I do is I'm going to make a copy first. I'm going to rename it and call it review copy. And then I'm going to open it up in Adobe Acrobat app. This is different than Adobe Reader, which I think practically every single computer user has nowadays. This is a paid program. Uh, I think Adobe, it, it includes it in its big creative cloud suite, or you can rent it separately. That's what I do. I think I pay 15 or $20 per month, but I'm, you know, I'm a, uh, I'm a publisher, so I use this a lot. I think there's also the possibility of getting this as a, on a trial basis for like a week or two weeks or a month. So if you want to try out some of these features and see if it works for you. Anyways, I just opened this up in order to edit it so you can add a watermark. You have to go to edit PDF on the side. And then you should see these uh, icons up here. If you don't see them, go to View, Show Hide, and make sure that the uh, tool pane and uh, menu bar are activated there. So one of the one of the icons is Watermark. So I'm going to click that, select Add, and this little dialog pops up. Um, basically, what I'm going to do is type in caps Review Copy not for sale. And you can see it's kind of showing up here in the preview. Um, and let's take a look and see what it looks like. You can see it's right here. Now there's a problem with this. Because it's so big and the text is so thick, it's actually obscuring the th stuff in the background. So I, I want to change that a little bit so it's a little bit easier for people to, uh, to read. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click um, Update, Watermark Update. Here it is. And one thing you can do is you can you can uh, change the angle. So here the appearance is rotation. So I can do this. So that way it's not clashing directly with the text that's underneath it. Other thing I can do is change the opacity. So right now it's 100%. That means it's like it's thick. But if you change it like the 44%, see it's not so thick. And that's a little bit easier to, to deal with. But I, you, you see it's still kind of obscuring some of the formulas over here. So I want to update that again. Go to Watermark, Update. And one thing that I often do with my watermarks is I don't put them right over the text. I'll put them somewhere on the, like in the left margin or the right margin or the bottom of the page. So they're not interfering with everything. Uh, the first thing I might do is change the, the, the size so it's small. Um, the other thing I can do is I'm going to put this none. I'm going to the positioning. So right now it's oriented from the center. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to change it so it's on the bottom. And you can see it. It's right there. And then you can click these vertical distance in inches. So review copy not for sale. It's right under the it's right under the uh, the the number there. Let's take a look. You can see it's at the very bottom of the page. Let's update it again. I want to move it over to the left. So I'm going to take horizontal distance. It's from the center. I'm going to do it from the left. And here, you can see it's right there. And then I can do so, I can do stuff like, you know, I can actually make it so it's kind of uh, it's basically it's flipped on its side there. And then I can even start to move it up a little bit more. All right, so I put this on successfully. This is where I want it. I'm going to hit close. And then I'm going to close out of it. It's going to prompt me to save it. And let's take a look and see what it looks like in the other. I, this is the, uh, the Mac OS preview, another way to look at the PDF here. And you can see it. Review copy, not for sale. For more information on how to get the most out of technology, uh, crowdfunding, genealogy, social security, health topics, personal finance, go to in30minutes.com. My name is Ian Lamont. I am the founder of In 30 Minutes Guides. Uh, thank you so much for watching.